Hey, welcome to a new video. Israel is a small country located in the Middle East, situated on the eastern coast of the Mediterranean Sea. It's home to a diverse population of approximately 9 million people and is steeped in history and culture. However, it also harbors a wealth of detailed finds dating back thousands of years. Today, we'll show you 20 terrifying discoveries made in Israel. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 20. The Copper Scroll is an ancient Hebrew manuscript discovered in 1952 in a cave near the Dead Sea, known as Cave 3 at the Qumran archaeological site. Unlike other scrolls found in Qumran which were written on parchment, this one is unique because it's engraved on two copper plates. The scroll dates back to the first century AD, from the time of the Second Temple in Jerusalem. It's written in a cryptic style and contains a list of locations where valuable treasures are reportedly buried. The treasures mentioned in the scroll include gold, silver, and other valuable items. However, the exact purpose of this copper scroll and the authenticity of the mentioned treasures are subjects of debate among scholars. Some believe that the treasures described in the scroll were hidden by a Jewish sect, possibly the Essenes, to protect them from the Roman invasion. Others argue that the scroll is a fictional or symbolic text, rather than a real treasure map. Despite various attempts to locate the treasures described in the Copper Scroll, none have been found to date. The cryptic nature of the text and changes in the landscape over the centuries have also made it difficult to decipher and locate the exact locations mentioned. Number 19. Kerbet Kwana is an archaeological site in northern Israel. It's traditionally associated with the biblical village of Kana, where Jesus performed his first miracle by turning water into wine at a wedding feast. The site of Kerbet Kana has been subject of archaeological research and excavations to reveal its historical and biblical significance. During these excavations, the remnants of a village of the Roman and Byzantine periods have been uncovered, providing insights into the daily life, architecture, and religious practices of that era. Although the identification of Kerbet Kana as the biblical Kana is still contested among scholars, the site continues to attract pilgrims and tourists interested in its biblical connections. The Wedding Church of Kana, located nearby, commemorates the biblical miracle and is a popular pilgrimage site for Christians. Number 18. The Dog Cemetery of Ashkelon, located in the ancient city of Ashkelon on the Mediterranean coast of Israel, is a unique archaeological site. This discovery, dating back to 1984, emerged from excavations led by the Leon Levy expedition to Ashkelon. Within this cemetery lies the remains of about 1,400 dogs, buried during the 5th and 4th centuries BC, throughout the Persian and Hellenistic periods. The dogs were individually buried, often accompanied by grave goods such as food offerings, collars, and decorative items. The dog cemetery of Ashkelon remains a partly a mystery. It's speculated that the dogs were deliberately buried as part of a ritual or religious practice, possibly related to beliefs about the afterlife or the role of dogs as guardians. The presence of grave goods suggests that the dogs held a special status or were valued companions in the community. The careful burial of these dogs and the accompanying grave goods indicate the importance of these animals in the lives and beliefs of the people who lived in Ashkelon at that time. Number 17. The Gilgal Rifam, also known as Rum el Hiri, is a mysterious ancient megalithic monument located on the Golan Heights, near the border of Syria and Israel. It consists of a circular arrangement of large stone circles and is believed to date back to the ancient Early Bronze Age, around 3000 to 2700 BC. The monument is named after the biblical giants called Rifam and is associated with them in local folklore. The site is considered one of the most enigmatic and puzzling archaeological structures in the region. The outer ring of stones has a diameter of about 512 feet, or 156 meters, and is composed of over 40,000 tons of basalt rocks. Within the main circle are several concentric rings of smaller stones. The purpose of the monument is still debated among archaeologists, with theories ranging from a burial site to an astronomical observatory, or a ceremonial center. Excavations at the site have uncovered shards of pottery and flint tools, indicating human activity in the area during the Bronze Age. The construction of the monument also required significant technical skills and labor, indicating a complex social organization and a highly developed society of that time. Number 16. The next incident took place in 2012, where a kind of light or UFO was seen hovering above the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem at night. The Dome of the Rock is a historic Islamic shrine built on the Temple Mount and is characterized by its striking golden dome. On this particular day, people were astonished with a brightly lit UFO descending above the dome. On this particular day, people were astonished when a brightly lit UFO descended above the dome, then shot up in the sky at an incredible speed. The dome is an important religious site, both for Muslims and Jews, and it's one of the most recognizable landmarks in Jerusalem. It's also considered the third holiest site in Islam, after Mecca and Medina. 
It is believed to be the site from where the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven during the night journey. Muslims regard it as the place where the Prophet stood before ascending to meet other Prophets. So a UFO flying over it certainly raises some questions. What do you think was captured on camera that night? Let me know in the comments. Number 15. Gath, an important Philistine city mentioned in the Bible, is identified as the birthplace of the biblical giant Goliath. Located in present-day Israel, it was one of the five Philistine city-states and played a significant role in biblical narratives. Gath is famously linked to the biblical story of David and Goliath, where Goliath, the gigantic warrior, is said to have originated from the city. Excavations have revealed large-scale fortifications surrounding the ancient city. These defenses consisted of a massive mud brick wall and a defense system, including a large gate complex. The size and complexity of the fortifications indicate that this was a powerful and well-defended city. Identifying the city as the biblical city of Philistines was a crucial discovery. The Philistines were seafaring people who settled along the southern coastal region of ancient Israel during the Iron Age. Archaeologists have discovered various temples and shrines, including altars, sacrificial sites, and cultic objects. Number 14. The skulls of Jericho are a collection of ancient human skulls discovered at the site of Jericho, an ancient city located near the Jordan River on the West Bank. These skulls specifically date back to around 7000 BC, making them some of the oldest known human skulls in the world. They were uncovered during excavations led by British archaeologist Kathleen Kenyon in the 1950s. The skulls were found beneath the floors of ancient houses in a specific area of Jericho, known as the Pre-Pottery Neolithic Period A. These skulls are also referred to as plastered skulls because they were uncovered with a layer of plaster. After the flesh of the skulls were removed, they were carefully modeled with clay and then covered with plaster to create a lifelike appearance. The plaster was further adorned to depict facial features such as eyes, noses, and mouths. The purpose behind this creation is not fully understood. It's thought that they were involved in ritual practices or held symbolic significance with the Neolithic community of Jericho. Some theories suggest they might have been used in ancestor worship, burial rituals, or served as a means to preserve and venerate the deceased. Number 13. The Herodium is an archaeological site located on the West Bank, near Bethlehem. It's a fortified palace complex built by King Herod the Great, the ruler of Judea, in the 1st century BC. The site is situated on a cone-shaped hill and includes a palace, a Roman-style theater, a pool, and a mausoleum. The palace was constructed using a combination of natural rock and artificial building materials. The site housed luxurious living quarters, reception halls, a large courtyard, and an advanced water system that collected rainwater for domestic use. One of the most notable features of the Herodium is the massive artificial hill that surrounds the palace. Herod commissioned the construction of this hill to enhance the grandeur of the palace and create a dominant presence in the landscape. The hill was built by stacking stones and earth around the core of the hill, creating a distinctive and imposing structure. Archaeological excavations at the Herodium have uncovered valuable artifacts, including pottery, coins, and architectural elements. In 2007, the tomb purportedly belonged to King Herod himself was discovered. Number 12. The surprising discovery of an ancient scarab in Azor near Tel Aviv, Israel. The object was found during a school trip for students. The scarab is estimated to be about 3,000 years old and was designed in the shape of a dung beetle, which held symbolic significance in ancient Egyptian culture. It was used as a seal and symbolized power and status. Worn as jewelry, such as a necklace or a ring, the scarab displays an engraved scene where a figure sits on a chair in front of a standing figure. The figure has an elongated head, resembling the crown of an Egyptian pharaoh. This scene represents the transfer of power and authority from the Egyptian pharaoh to local Canaanite ruler. Number 11. The Church of the Holy Sepulcher is an important religious site located in the Old City of Jerusalem. It's considered one of the holiest Christian sites and is believed by many to be the palace where Jesus of Nazareth was crucified, buried, and resurrected. According to an archaeologist named Jody, there's a theory about this place in the Garden of Eden. She suggests that the spot beneath the Rock of Golgotha, believed to be the crucifixion site of Jesus, is also where Adam, the first human, was buried. She proposes that when the blood of Jesus flowed through a crack in the rock during the crucifixion, it reached Adam's burial site, leading to his resurrection. It's also thought that this could be the location of the Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden is described in the book of Genesis as the place where God created Adam and Eve, the first humans. It's often depicted as a paradise-like garden where humanity lived in harmony with nature before the fall. The exact location of the Garden of Eden remains a subject of speculation and debate. While some interpretations suggest a literal, physical location, others view it as a metaphor. Number 10. Tel Ashish is an archaeological site located in modern Israel. It was once a prominent Canaanite and Israelite city, 
and is mentioned in the Bible as a city conquered by the Assyrians and later by the Babylonians. A notable discovery in this city is an ancient toilet, providing insight into the sanitary facilities of that time. The ancient toilet in Tel Ashish consists of a stone seat with a hole, connected to an advanced drainage system. Waste would flow through the drainage system, likely to a nearby cesspit or sewer. This placement suggests that the toilet was intentionally positioned close to the religious space, possibly as a symbolic act. In some ancient temples and shrines, installing a toilet was considered an act of contempt towards the religious rituals performed there. This was seen as a sign that the people who visited the temples rejected the pagan practices and deities. According to the Bible, King Ezekiel attempted to centralize worship in Jerusalem and eradicate idolatry. Number 9. In 2016, a team of archaeologists from Tel Aviv University used handwriting analysis technology to study a collection of ancient Hebrew inscriptions. The inscriptions, dating back to around 600 BC, turned out to be written by at least six different authors. This discovery challenges the prevailing belief among scholars that the composition of biblical texts took place after the siege and destruction of Jerusalem by the Babylonians in 586 BC. It was suggested that the texts were written as a result of the exile to Babylon, as the compilers reflected on their past and documented their history. However, the findings of this study support an alternate theory. This argues that the biblical texts were written in the late 7th century BC in Jerusalem, before the siege took place. The researchers examined 16 ink inscriptions on ceramic shards that were discovered at the site of the ancient military fortress in Arad, southern Israel. By using multispectral imaging and computer algorithms, they were able to reconstruct the Hebrew letters and distinguish the writing styles of the different authors. Number 8. The site known as Enesur is located in the Jezreel Valley and covers an area of about 160 hectares. It dates back to the Early Bronze Age, around 5,000 years ago. The site was first discovered in the 1970s and has recently been re-excavated by a team of archaeologists. Enesur is considered one of the largest and most significant ancient cities in the region during its time. The site shows evidence of a highly organized and planned city center, with massive buildings, streets, alleys, and public spaces. It's thought to have been home to a large population, possibly in the thousands. The excavation has revealed various architectural features, including mud brick walls, stone foundations, and courtyards. Additionally, it's also yielded a wealth of artifacts, including tools, jewelry, and figurines, providing valuable insights during this period. The figurines discovered include both animal and human representations. They were crafted with various materials, such as clay and stone, and exhibit a range of styles and postures. Number 7. The Cave of Hor is a natural cave, located in the Nathal Hever region of the Judean desert in Israel. It gained significant attention due to the discovery of ancient documents, known as the Dead Sea Scrolls. In 1960, a shepherd stumbled upon the cave and discovered several ancient scrolls and artifacts. But what makes it terrifying are the countless skeletons that children mysteriously found there. They also found scrolls written on parchment, dating back to the Second Temple period. The Cave of Hor is primarily known for its association with the Bar Kokhba Revolt, 132 to 136 AD, against the Roman Empire. Among the discovered documents were letters written by Bar Kokhba, the leader of the Jewish Revolt, and his associates. These letters shed light on the historical and military aspects of the revolt and provide valuable insights into the struggle and aspirations of the Jewish people at that time. The discovery of these scrolls have significantly contributed to the understanding of ancient Jewish history and the development of Jewish religious thoughts. Number 6. The Templar Tunnel, also known as the Tunnel of the Knights of the Temple, is an underground passage located in the city of Acre in present-day Israel. It's a remarkable archaeological feature, associated with the medieval Templars. The tunnel was constructed during the 12th century AD, when the Crusaders established their presence in the region. It served as a strategic secret passage connecting the Templar fortress in the northern part of the city to the city's port in the south. Stretching about 1,150 feet or 350 meters, the tunnel allowed Templars to transport supplies and reinforcements, bypassing the busy city above. It was built by digging through solid rock and features a series of arches and steps. The construction of the tunnel demonstrates the engineering skills and military strategic planning used by the Knights of the Temple. However, it remained hidden for centuries, until the tunnel was rediscovered during excavations in Acre in the 1990s. Today, it's a popular tourist attraction and a fascinating example of medieval underground architecture. Number 5. Tel Tassav is an archaeological site located in the Jordan Valley. During excavations, a 7,000-year-old metal object, specifically a copper awl, was discovered. The awl is a tool with a pointed end, used for making holes in materials such as leather, wood, or fabric. This discovery is said to be one of the earliest known metal objects in the region. 
The presence of metal objects in this period is quite rare, as metalworking was still in its early stages of development. This discovery suggests that the technology for metalworking was already practiced in the region about 7,000 years ago. The artifact provides valuable insights into the technological advancements and cultural practices of the people living in the area during the Chalcolithic period. Additionally, it indicates that inhabitants of Teltasav had the knowledge and skills to extract copper ore from the earth and convert it into functional tools. Such tools would have been valuable and could have played a role in various activities, including craftsmanship, trade, and possibly even symbolic or ritual practices. Number 4. The Gavani Parking Lot Dig, located in the city of David National Park in Jerusalem, is an archaeological excavation site that has yielded a wealth of historical artifacts and insights. This site, where excavations began in the early 2000s, has uncovered layers of history spanning thousands of years. One of the key discoveries is the ancient fortifications that once protected the city of Jerusalem. These fortifications date back to the First Temple period and provide crucial evidence of the city's early defense. Researchers have found impressive structures, such as a massive stone tower and a city wall, shedding light on Jerusalem's strategic importance during this time. In addition to these ancient fortifications, the site has revealed numerous artifacts that offer a glimpse into the daily lives of Jerusalem's inhabitants over the centuries. These artifacts include pottery, coins, jewelry, and even ancient seals and boule used for administrative purposes. Each discovery contributes to our understanding of the city's rich history and the diverse cultures that have left their mark on it. Number 3. Megiddo is an ancient city located in present-day Israel that has been the site of numerous archaeological discoveries. These findings have provided insight into the rich history of the ancient city and its significance in biblical and ancient Near Eastern contexts. In addition to the stables of Solomon and the Megiddo mosaic depicting Jesus, several other notable discoveries have been made here. A significant find is a collection of ivory objects dating back to the Late Bronze Age. These intricately crafted ivory artifacts include inlays of furniture, cosmetic containers, and small decorative items. Archaeologists have excavated a large number of boule in the city. These seal impressions were used to seal documents and containers. Megiddo also has an impressive water system that was built to ensure a reliable water supply during sieges. The system consists of a complex network of tunnels, shafts, and underground chambers, allowing the city's inhabitants to access water from a natural source outside the city walls. Remains of temples and cult sites have also been found, including altars, sacrificial sites, religious objects, and ritual indications. Number 2. The Philistines were a prominent group of people mentioned in the Old Testament, particularly in relation to their interaction with the ancient Israelites. In southern Israel, in Ashkelon National Park, the cemetery was found, marking a first for the discovery of a Philistine cemetery. Archaeologists excavating the site found remains of about 200 individuals buried there. What makes this discovery intriguing is that the findings challenge the traditional perception of the Philistines. The excavated graves contained various artifacts, including jewelry and scented oil. These discoveries pointed to a certain cultural sophistication and wealth previously not attributed to the Philistines. The Philistine Cemetery was discovered in 2013 in the southern coastal plain of Israel, near the modern city of Ashkelon. The cemetery dates back to the Iron Age, specifically the 12th to 11th century BC, when the Philistines were settled in the region. Excavations have provided valuable insights into the burial practices and cultural traditions of the Philistines. The burials reveal distinctive funeral customs, such as placing bodies in large ceramic pots known as anthropoid coffins, or sarcophagi. These coffins were then buried in individual pits. Number 1. The Dead Sea Scrolls are a collection of ancient Jewish texts discovered between 1947 and 1956 in the vicinity of the Dead Sea. The story of the Dead Sea Scrolls begins in 1947, when a shepherd discovered a hidden cave with ancient manuscripts while searching for a stray goat. The collection consists of 800 documents made of animal skin, papyrus, and even forged copper. It includes a large number of fragments, in including biblical texts, sectarian writings, prayers, hymns, legal texts, and various other literary works. One of the scrolls, known as the Son of God text or Aramaic Apocalypse, mentions a Son of God figure and contains an apocalyptic prophecy. Scholars debate whether this refers to Jesus or an enemy of God. The scrolls contain prophecies of Ezekiel, Jeremiah, and Daniel that are not in the Bible, including the Temple Scroll, the longest scroll found, measuring about 27 feet or 8.2 meters in length. It provides a detailed description of the construction of the Temple in Jerusalem. The Dead Sea Scrolls are the oldest group of Old Testament manuscripts ever discovered. Have you ever been to Israel? Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.